What's going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching another Pokemon Wi-Fi Bell video. Enjoy! Alright, so this YouTube video is going to be an interesting one. I hope you all enjoy it. We are doing the OM of the month for October. Of course, I did the September one, which was, uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember what it was, but you can go down there. I think it was called Megamons or something. But yeah, that was September. Now we're in October. It's time for a new OM of the month, and we are doing Inheritance. For those who don't know, Inheritance allows you to inherit Pokemon and use that move set and ability from that inherited Pokemon onto a Pokemon that you want to use, which is insane. You can be creative, you can go all out, make that Pokemon better with that move set at your disposal. It's amazing. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. Of course, we do have the 350 cup right here. I'm not sure about this one. I do know that inheritance is the one that we're going to be doing today. So let's go over the team builder. I know some of you who are watching this are a little confused as to what I'm trying to tell you about inheritance. That's okay. I was just like you. I didn't understand it right away. I had to look it up on Smogon University. I'll put that link in the description so you can read it. But basically, we have a Suicune here. I'll go to every Pokemon here individually, but the first Pokemon in the squad is Suicune. And I got this Suicune um, it's just a regular Suicune. It's not like I'm, I'm inheriting another Suicune. You can't do that. You can't really. Yeah. So we're using a regular Suicune and we're going to be inheriting the ability and moves from the Pokemon that was, I think it's Quagsire, right? Yeah. So we're going to be using a Suicune with Quagsire's moveset. So it's going to have Scald, Amnesia, Recover, and Toxic. Now, there are limits to this. Of course, you can't use a Mega Pokemon. There are certain Pokemon that you can't use to inherit, which is unfortunate. I was trying to do something with, like, a Gyarados or something. I don't know. It's, it's kind of crazy. But, yeah. Suicune is going to be essentially Quagsire in this video. And then this is going to be even more fun. Executor Alola form the Life Orb ability. Or, <laughs> Life Orb as the Hell item. The ability, though, is different. It's contrary, and you can tell that this is a superior. Of course, superior has the ability contrary, and it has these moves of Leaf Storm, Hidden Power Fire, and JD Drain. You can do that, but you can definitely, definitely, you, you can tell that this is superior. And we're using a, an Alola Executor, which is pretty awesome. So I hope you guys get the idea of behind what inheritance is. Of course you can keep the same Pokemon's moves, like for instance, Heatran has Steelium Z and Stealth Rock, Lava Plume, Flash Cannon, Earth Power. I didn't inherit anything from, you know, for Heatran. So you don't need to do it for every Pokemon. This is where it gets even more fun, okay? We have Snorlax over here with Toxic Orb, Poison Heal. You can't have that with Poison Heal. Come on. But we inherited that from Gliscor. So we have Source Nest, Facade, Earthquake, and Taunt here. And then Copy Coco with the Sugarberry, Hyper Cutter, Source Nest, Play Rough, Iron Head, and Sucker Punch. That was inherited from Mawile. So we essentially have a Copy Coco with Mawile's moveset and ability. How crazy is that? Now for the last Pokemon, it was tough. Now you can use Mega Pokemon for this, but I don't think you can inherit Mega Pokemon's abilities and moves, so it's essentially the opposite. So you can use a Mega Pokemon, but use a regular Pokemon to inherit from. So this right here, Outrage, Shooting Speed, Stone Edge, and Home Claws, this was inherited from Dragonite. So we have a Garchomp with the ability Multi-Scale, which you can't get, with Outrage, Extreme Speed, Stone Edge, and Home Claws, as I already mentioned. And you can see the Eevee spreads over here. 
So you can tell that this team is purely offensive. I have a sweeter next defensive, and then you have an offensive executor, a bulky Heatran to get up entry hazards, Snorlax, Tapi Coco, and Garchomp. So yes, a little bit of defense with a lot of offense. Let's go ahead and validate real quick. We are valid for Gen 7 Inheritance. I'll probably do two battles to showcase these Pokemon here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute at the battlefield. Okay everybody, so we're here for the first game. I have two games for you. This one is an opponent that goes by Okapo, and he's got a good team. He's got Buzzwool, Alakazam, Ferrothorn, Zerkitry, Golestopod, and Celesteela. So all these Pokemon are going to be inherited in a way. So we don't know what the Pokemon are inherited. Like, we know the original Pokemon here, you can see that. But which Pokemon are they inherited from? That's what we're going to find out in this game. So we're going to go ahead and play this first match. I'm going to start with Heatran, the original Heatran. We see a Glycopod with Intimidate, and we find out that this is Quillfish. So this Glycopod has the move set from or from Quillfish. Now he goes for a lot of energy hazards here, as I. Try to put some damage onto this Pokemon here. And I kinda regret doing that because clearly, you know, I don't have a defogger or a rapid spinner. And I'm basically wasting some turns as he goes for the entry hazard stockpiling moment there. Um I could have worried that better, but that's bad news bears right now for me. Like, I don't have a way to get rid of these entry hazards. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and KO this Glissapod. Yes, that was weird the way I did it, but some games, you have to do that. Now here he goes into the circuitry, and he is Tapu Coco, essentially. And man, is he choice best. Because a Volt Switch did that much damage, I know Heatran is really good on the special defense. Side and holy crap, that lava plume destroys him. So that's a huge threat out of the way, but this one is also a threat, so I have to be aware of that. I'm going to Executor Aloha. Of course, Executor is carrying Superior's moveset. I go for Leaf Storm, and I'm going to get the contrary boost. So I have a plus two special attack boost from the Leaf Storm. Of course, the poison is going to rack up damage over time. The Silasila here goes for the Heavy Slam. And I take it very well. And we KO Silasila. And we almost go down into the poison. However, he is going to go into Alakazam, who is actually Tapi Lune. Has the Psychic Terrain. Goes for the Psychic. That's a great combination, by the way. Alakazam, who's actually going to go Mega in a little while. Having Tapi Lele's ability and moveset, that is another great strategy. So, unfortunately, I missed a Toxic as I managed to survive a hit. That was huge because I would love a little bit of chip damage onto Alakazam. But, that's not the case. I go into Snorlax, who is Glyscore, and I'm hoping that I can. KO a Pokemon with this thing. I could go for Facade, and because Alakazam is pretty frail on the physical side of the spectrum, he's going to go down. He goes into Zerkitry. Man, this game is going really fast, you know? And Grass Knot is going to wipe me out. He's pretty fast. I'm not sure if he's Choice Scarf, but I feel like he's choiced in some manner. My first, my, my first reaction is like, oh man, he's probably Choice Best, but. You never know. So realizing this, I go into Mega Garchomp, and I do have the multi-scale, which was broken, and then I go for the extreme speed, which is priority. I have Stone Edge, KO okay, the circuitry. I don't have Earthquake on this thing. We get a double down out of this scenario, which is pretty nice. On the double down, uh, he has only Ferrothorn against my Tapu Koko, aka Marwile. Am I going to 
Hopefully KO this Ferrothorn. Let's see what we can do. What can we do here? The Shadow Ball does a lot of damage. Oh my, alright. Plus two Sucker Punch. He just doesn't quite cut it, so... This game goes to my opponent. Hands off to him for a great match. Uh, he played really well, especially with the Alakazam. Had I hit the Poison, I might be able to do some more damage to him. And, of course, the match would be different otherwise. So that's the first game. I know that was kind of fast. The second game will be a lot better. I know that for sure. Just a heads up though, it's not going to be a complete match. My opponent will be kind of forfeiting it a little bit. You'll see what I mean when we go to the first or second match. Pardon me. Alright, see you guys in just a moment. Okay everybody, so we're here for the second match. Here in the inheritance video, you see my opponent has an Archaeops, Marowak, a Lone Form, Landorus, Therian, Suicune, Muck, a Lone Form, and Magirna. Now, of course, these Pokemon are inherited in some way. We don't know what the Pokemon is. So let's go ahead and play, and you'll see what Pokemon my opponent is actually using. So we see Marowak, a Lone Form, starting out with my opponent, or for my opponent. It's actually a Kecleon, which I, I didn't expect that at all. Goes for fake out on my executor, so I'm forced to switch out, which is unfortunate. Goes for fake out again. I think that's a misclick. That's okay. I get a free switch in, nevertheless. I knew he was going to switch out into Landorus, who is actually a Staravia, aka Staraptor. I think they used the pre-evolutionaries for this particular video for some reason. Not to worry. It's actually just a Staraptor. They decided to make it more fancy. I guess I don't know. Anyways, I go for the Home Claws and Stone Knight, and I'm kind of disappointed by the damage that it did. Yeah, that's not too bright there. He goes back into a Lolan Marowak, aka Kecleon. Goes for the Purian Fake Out, and uh, I flinch. <laughs> that's all I can really say right there. Um, Lander is coming back out. I go for the Stone Knight once again, and again, the damage. Yes, he has the Intimidate. That doesn't help. So I'm going to go back into Home Claws in here. That would be great. As he goes for Roost. So that was a great play on my part, going for Home Claws when he went for Roost. Now this Landorus, I'm not too worried about it. All he has is like Brave Bird and U-Turn, which are not going to do that much damage to my Garchomp. So I have to be wary of that, you know, I need to make sure I have him around. And plus, Suicune is a great check to it as well. Speaking of Suicune, we have two Suicune on the battlefield, and the difference between mine and his Suicune is that his Suicune is a Corsola, whereas mine is a Wooper, aka Quiet Sire. So they're, they're using the evolutionary lines for the Pokemon that we're inherited from, so don't worry about what Pokemon is being said there. I go back into Lolan Executor here. For the typing matchup, he misses his Toxic, and he goes for the Leaf Storm Executor does, gets his boost, which is amazing, you know? So we have a plus two Alolan Executor, aka Superior. Unfortunately though, he does have the Brave Bird. I was thinking, I was kind of begging him to do that. This way he has uh, recoil damage, as you see he took recoil. And now I can go into Heatran, who is kind of, I mean, he, he walls it tremendously. So, I go for Stealth Axe, trying to discourage a little bit of switching. I go for Earth Power next, and oh my god, that does a lot of damage. But, this Drain Punch is going to wipe out the Heat Ran. Unfortunately, he gets his HP restored. I go back into Garchomp, and uh, go for Outrage here. And this is where things get a little bit spicy, especially for my opponent. Here's where I think he really should have gone into Magirna. Because Magirna would have definitely, definitely, like, be immune to it and everything. So my opponent kind of forfeited there. I technically won the match. We didn't get a chance to see Magirna or Muckalolan form or Archeos. I think we saw Archeos for a little while, but that was it, honestly. But yeah, that was a good showing of Alolan Executor and my Garchomp, which I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want to try out the OM of the month, 
All you have to do is go on Pokemon Showdown and create a team based on what you saw in this video. You can you can try my team out if you want, but do be careful because obviously there are some restrictions on it. But I think this meta game is really fun, Inheritance. Of course, my matches would have been a lot better if I used them properly, but there were times where I was like, oh, you know what? I keep forgetting that it's actually that Pokemon and not that Pokemon that was being inherited, you know? So that could be a confusion, a confusing factor when you do these battles. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoy, make sure you give me a like and subscribe. See you guys all next time with another battle video. Have a great one, trainers.